Hello everyone and welcome back to Lavellius Coloring. We'll be coloring day five in my advent calendar which is illustrated by Chihiro Shiomi. Information for her Etsy store and this illustration will be down below in the video description. So to get started you can see that I already did like a layer of the sand for the wall and here we have day one two down here's three and then four and i did forget a couple of the um areas here in day four but i'm going to do that at the end when i add like the gel pen because i forgot a little bit of the gel pen here and the nouveau glitter part that i wanted to add on this one so i'm going to do that at the end uh, when i finish day five which we have right over here so you can see that i already shaded in the wall part so I'm just going to go ahead and get started there. I'm just going to angle my camera so we can get a closer look. Okay so how is everyone doing? <laughs> I do hope that you are all doing well. So I am going to pretty much do the same colors that I did on the day four which is the same colored roof and then the um, white trim of the window oops right over here so yeah so how did your saturday start off today is my father's birthday so i'll be zooming with the family later on when uh, i should be hopefully done uploading this video but yeah i've been up early because the construction that's going on in our in the neighborhood that's going to be and I'm right behind my house started early this morning at seven o'clock I feel a bump right there. I think it's just my pad but yeah they started early seven o'clock this morning so ah uh, yeah so hopefully it won't be so loud while I'm recording but if you do hear anything, it's because of the construction that's going on. But yeah, it's been a very, very busy <laughs> morning. Um, I Every day the routine is to give my son a, because he gets two baths a day. So uh, he had his morning bath, but then like right before I was about to record had a little accident so i had to clean him up again <laughs> so it's just really busy but right now he's hanging out with his sisters i guess there is a new episode from blippy or a christmas episode so he's gonna be watching that in their room and yeah my youngest daughter, she's a senior uh, in high school, but she takes college courses at the community college. That She doesn't even go to the high school or take any courses there, just straight at the college for this um, Running Start program. And she's been like, they were supposed to take, she was supposed to take her SATs last spring, I believe. And then of course, because of COVID, it got canceled and it was supposed to be this weekend. And then again, it, we just found out last night that it got canceled. So um, the grays I used, I'm sorry, I forgot to say. Um, I used white and then cool gray 2, cool gray 4, and then I'm now coming in with lamp black. And I forgot what I was talking about. So I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> I have to apologize that the last video, day 4, I did not expect it to be 50 minutes long. I was surprised as I was editing it when I looked at the time for the video. So that's why it came out late because of the processing. Um, it did take a while for it to 
upload from my phone to YouTube then YouTube just processing it took a little bit too so I'm just gonna go like that So I'm going to go with the roof, so I'm going to use the same colors as before, Carmine 042, Burgundy 080, and then Raisin 486. And if you haven't seen um, my first four videos of coloring this advent calendar, I am using Holbein's for this whole illustration. So I'll be starting with Burgundy pretty much doing the same thing where I'm just going to lay a base of the burgundy and just color it in so yeah I've been um, you know, like after or while this while, while my videos are uploading I've been obsessing about um, <laughs> my what do you call that the um my holiday or no my reindeer page from Jasmine or not Jasmine I'm sorry I can't think Johanna Basford's um, Christmas book and I've been trying to get that page done because I can see it in my head pretty much how it's gonna look and I'm very excited about how it's looking it's I mean I kind of got sloppy last night because I didn't want to sleep yet and <laughs> I wanted to try and finish it but when I noticed that I was going outside the lines I was like okay I gotta stop so this morning um, while my phone is charging because I fell asleep with it um, and not hooked up to the charger but um, yeah I started working on it again and when I thought it was finished I started working on the background and then uh, before starting this video I was looking at it again and I was like, I missed a couple of spots. <laughs> Maybe I can show you really quick. Here's a quick snippet or area. And I gave myself a little, little uh, <laughs> note. So I forgot these sections. So it's supposed to be colored in like this. So yeah, so I forgot one, two, three and then the little bird. I was like so excited that I got the ring around, but yeah. Don't wanna show the whole thing yet because yeah, there is still a lot of stuff that I wanna work on. Oh. Go ahead and, and come in with the raisin. end up doing that where I feel like uh, I'm done but in reality I miss something there's something in each of my well not each of them but in some of my colorings where I forgot to finish a portion or just just like a small little bit that I didn't color but I learned to just leave it I don't even color it in after I figured it out or find it and just leave it it's like my calling card you know to <laughs> that that's my coloring that it's mine because I forgot to color that part there um, just in case um, you hear me sniffling and I apologize hopefully I can edit it out but I don't know if you can notice it's a lot brighter Today's this week has been very sunny, so my allergies is just getting messed up again. It's like getting cold and rainy. Then when I finally get 
used to it make it sunny so my room is the one that's that gets the coldest and then gets the hottest so uh, it's just messing up my sinuses so hopefully I'm not too sniffly just gonna make that dark here I don't want too much of the carmine to show through so I'm just going over this part just a little bit more so I'm coming in with the carmine and just just want that hint of red um, on the roof same thing as what I did in day four but not so overpowering because I plan to use the color of the carmine for the ribbons I want that to pop out the signal red is a lot brighter so I want to use that one for um, the details so it'll pop out more just darken up the shing shingles Call it this, and then burgundy again. Just want to hopefully I don't forget anything else I'm gonna go ahead and color the curtains so the colors I'll be using is fuchsia 436 and Bordeaux 469 I'm gonna start off with the fuchsia and just a light layer I'm gonna use gel pens to color in those garlands Gonna make this room girly. Should I do this one too? I'm gonna do it a different color. So Bordeaux red, and this one I just want to I'm just slowly adding the color so that in case um, I add something that I don't like I can erase it. <laughs> That's pretty much why I try to color lightly and then go in. I like to kind of lay out where I'm going to lay my colors and then go in heavy and um, emphasize like the, the color. I hope I made sense. <laughs> yeah, so just, you know, like like the folds better to add a little at a time than go in hard so I'm just gonna leave it like that first and then coming back with the fuchsia so I want it darker here but lighter coming in so it looks like it's bright same thing here Using the board, is this again? Bordeaux red. Just clean this up there, and then my cherry blossom. And then for her seat, I think I want that to be a, just like a lighter. So this one will go cherry blossom. And then fuchsia.
see if I can add this is just a uh, lamp black just a little shadow I'm just going lightly then I can just always go over it with the pink so it's not too much Fuchsia again. So the girl, I'm gonna have her hair. Um, actually, let me do her face first. So here is Peach um, 120, and then I'm also gonna use Shell Pink 019. So I'm going to just. Shadow part. Just use the shell pink. I'm gonna use the brown that I use. What did I use brown for? The wood. I used the brown for the wood in day one. So I'm using that as like the shadow part of her skin. Lightly, try not to be so heavy. And So for her hair, I'm using the same brown and then I also added the burnt umber, but the brown is going to go all over her hair. Then with the brown. I'm not trying to do strands, I'm just trying to decide where the, uh, <laughs> if I should add highlights or if I can. Let me get the lamp black. Just to add shadows. Pushing out her eyes, can't see it. Give her a little bit of can. It's hard to tell because the face is so so small. And this is shell pink again, just it's like her her lips got um erased. You can use the Oh, mine a little. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Let me erase that one. Okay, let's try this again. I think I should just leave it with the peach. In her face. I think I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna give her a green sweater. So I'll use the olive green and the fur green that I use for the leaves. I'm just going to again 
just color it all. And I'm just lightly coloring this um, for green. It's too bright of a dark green. So, and I'll come back with the olive and just blend that out. Blend it, blend it into the fur green. I'm trying to say. I think that's good. I'm going to come in with the ivory just to blend out that olive green there. So for the pants, I want it ivory. <laughs> so I'm reusing, yeah, you'll see me reuse colors here and there. I'm using the raw umber, and this is the same raw umber that I use for the wall. I like to try to use all the colors that I have right now and mix blend them, I guess. Um, I think that's a green shirt over there. Okay, so for the little sheet that she's writing, I'm going to color that the same way I colored the snow which is smoke blue and white so smoke blue is number 379 and white 500 yeah so uh, like earlier in the Johanna Basford the pencils I was using is the polychromos and so like the greens that I was using there I used it for a postcard that I'm coloring. I kind of do that sometimes where <laughs> if I'm coloring like multiple stuff, if I could use the color in another illustration that I'm working on and I pulled it out, I would just go ahead and use it there too so I'm not pulling like so many pencils out. But with the Johanna Basford one, um, it's only like three different sets of colors. Like the reds, there's blues and gold. So those are the only three colors I'm using in that illustration. So yeah, so I'm gonna stop that one. I'll do this one in a bit. Uh, the inside part, her wall or inside part of her room. I'm doing the same that I did on day four but instead of using sand I'm going to be using cream sorry if that went too fast so the colors I am going to use is raw umber 184 sepia 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 182 and then cream number 127 so I do have a Christmas question again so for what is it oh what holiday movie do you watch over and over again so the holiday movie that our family watch well i love watching it so if they don't want to watch it, it's okay i'll still watch it anyways <laughs> it's the santa claus trilogy i really love that movie was excited when the first and second one came out but I think for me I think the first one will always be the best one but I love that um, Santa Claus Tim Allen is the one that played Santa Claus he found his character found love <laughs> I'm just happy about that it's a fun um, one I think that was part two though Part three, I'm not so, eh, it's not my favorite, but I'll watch it. So 
so I'm playing the raw umber, so I'm just trying to be light, gradual. There, I come in with the cream. Let me go over her paper, a little bit over curtains, a little bit. Like it's highlighted on her. And go back and kind of darken this up now. Again, like what I did, uh, why I always go over a second time is I lay out the colors that I'm going to use and like where I'm going to stop, especially if I'm blending, where do I stop and start the other one. For me, it gives me an idea of how I'm going to color it. It makes it easier in my mind to continue. So. Yeah, so Santa Claus, the trilogy, has a movie, a set of movies that we would always watch. We also love to watch. Um, Christmas Story, my husband and I love the Christmas Story. Actually, for both of us, it's the Christmas Story and the, is it the Chevy Chase one, Christmas Vacation. I just love every time there's a vacation movie, there's a different set of kids. <laughs> But the parents are always the same. So, yeah, I'm just going to go back one more time with the cream. And there. And then I left the window part inside here out because I want to kind of do the same thing as I did over here, but the opposite. So, sepia. And this time, because I, it's a small area, I'm just going to go light, or um, one round, I guess. One round of all these colors. So that's how it's going to look. Okay, these things, I'm just coming in with the lamp black. So I'm just going to color it in, kind of like it's... Uh, black metal or something like that. Mm. What was I going to say? Oh, another movie that we like to watch, Home Alone. All three again. That's always a fun movie to watch. Us. Yeah, they're all on Disney Plus right now, so we don't have to go looking for our, well, I know where they are, our DVDs, but our Xbox is being stubborn right now and won't play our DVDs, so, well, it's a old one, <laughs> so I think my husband needs to update it. Um, Just darken this a little bit, just like that. Okay, go here. What is your favorite Christmas movie that you like to watch? Oh, Elf is another one that I think is one of the newer movies that we like to watch. I don't know if there's any other new Christmas movies out there. Is there anything else? I always miss something, so... Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have to do these. <laughs> this one, too. Move that bit. And then, like, the other ones, just... You know, I'll go over that with the... So, 
Um, if you're wondering, this pen is the Pilot Juice. It's a 0.38 gel pen, so it's really, really sharp doing. So we're going to do five. It's hard with this one because if I mess up, then I have to bring my Posca out to correct myself. <laughs> Okay, I forgot the smoke here too, so I'm just using a cool gray. And then I'm just going to bring actually signal red for that, bring the spectrum blue. Set Bordeaux red, Malachite green. I don't have a yellow, yellow one. Well, I have the cream, but it's not really going to show, so I'm going to use the yellow ochre right there. So we are almost done. I'm just going to come in with the silver. I don't know if you can hear all that beeping, but if you do, I apologize. So I'm using the Sakura Stardust. This is number 744, and I'm just going to... I'm not going to hide the black line. I'm just going to go around like... Maybe this is tinsel. So I don't know if you can see the sparkle, there we go. So I am going to do the lights, or the garlands, right here. Covering the balls. <laughs> oh, I forgot to color those, so I'm just going to sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and let me quickly color this one. So I have yellow ochre. I should go this way. Since it's a little bit bigger, I can add some cream and then cocoa. So I have the Nuvo glitter marker that I used earlier, so I'm just going to I made that first one too big, but using my own. Okay, and then for here, I'm gonna add some green ones here too. And then on this side. Should I go? I'm gonna go here too. And I'm gonna pick one more color. Okay, I'm sorry if the view changed. I accidentally <laughs> pulled my mic along with my phone. So I'm using, oh sorry, this is golden ochre. So if you wanna see how it looks like, it's this one right there. I'm not sure if it's gonna pop out, but we'll see. I wanted to use green and yellow. 
I don't think it's showing that well. is done day five a little closer if you can see the shimmer okay so I again forgot to do a little bit on day four so I'm just gonna come in with the green um, or no the morning moss from nouveau glitter and I wanted to Just do that. That's it. Done. <laughs> and then the top right over here with the clear Sakura Stardust. I think I wanted to do the crisscross thingy. I think I should do that with the other one. Oops, sorry. So here. And then I'm just gonna do it to the awning. I th I think I've been calling it roof. It's an awning. Right here. Maybe I should make these shiny. I don't want it to dull out the color though. Hopefully you can still see it. Okay. Alright, so <laughs> that is it. Thank you so much for joining me for day five in coloring Chihiro Shiyomi's advent calendar. Here is how it's looking now. Yeah, getting really excited. <laughs> so, next one is going to be number six, which is right over here. And so we have a bottle with a slice of cake. Okay, so I will see you guys at my next video. I hope you guys had fun. Please take care, keep safe and healthy, and happy colorings. Bye-bye.